Right, we're going to do a question from the five now, from 2019 paper again. The question is about some group seven compounds. Solid sodium chloride reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid. Given the equation for this reaction, state the role of sulfuric acid in this reaction. So the answer to that is going to be, uh, you need to know the equations of concentrated sulfuric acid with sodium chloride. So put sodium chloride plus H2SO4 equals to sodium hydrogen sulfate plus HCl. So that's what you have to do. And the role of uh, sulfuric acid in this reaction is a proton donor because an acid is a proton donor. Okay, fumes of sulfur dioxide are formed when sodium bromide reacts to concentrate sulfuric acid. For this reaction, you have an equation given one other observation and state role of sulfuric acid. So the equation for this is going to be sodium bromide plus sulfuric acid goes to SO2 plus Br2 plus water plus sodium sulfate or sodium hydrogen sulfate. You have to balance these equations. So you got two there. You got uh, two here and you got two here. The observation is a brown gas or orange gas observed. Brown gas observed. And then the role of sulfuric acid in here is an oxidizing agent, okay? Because it gets reduced oxidizing agent. Recap this is that fumes of sulfur dioxide are formed when sodium bromide reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid. This reaction given equation, give one other observation, state the role of sulfuric acid. So you have got sodium bromide plus sulfuric acid is SO2 gas, Br2, uh, water, and sodium sulfate. And then the, the observation is brown gas observed and is the role of your. Uh, um, uh, sulfuric acid is hard, hard oxidizing agent. Chlorine reacts to hot aqueous sodium hydroxide as shown below. So this is your equation. Give oxidation state chlorine of sodium chlorine sodium chloride chlorate and sodium chloride cl uh, sodium chloride. So here is minus one. Here you want to do the oxidation state just in case you don't know. It states minus two there, so minus six plus one. Therefore, becomes plus five. So it's going to be plus five. Now. Question number 5.4, it says state in terms of redox, what happens to chlorine in the reaction in question 5.3? Question 5.3 here, well, I have a look at that. So you have chlorine, it's got oxidizing number zero, and it goes to here, is plus five. Also chlorine is zero, and it goes to here, is minus one. So chlorine is both oxidized and reduced for this one here. Chlorine is both oxidized and reduced and if you remember this is called this propocination reaction when the same element is both reduced and oxidized okay okay solution y solution y contains two different negative ions to a sample solution i in a test tube a student adds silver nitrate solution then in excess dilute nitric acid Finally, an excess concentrated ammonia solution. The observation after each addition are recorded in table three. So when you add a reagent to solution Y, silver nitrate is a test for halides. You say cream precipitate. Your cream precipitate is going to be AGBR, isn't it? Because bromide is actually cream. And a compound, uh, contain compound D. So that's your compound D. And then compound E is something else we formed. Now, if you had silver nitrate solution, you can have different things formed, okay? So that would be your compound E. So when you add excess dilute nitric acid, you cream precipitate D and bubbles of gas F formed, okay? So the cream precipitate is your D, and then you get bubbles of F. So basically, your compound, you add that to your those two, and then you form, uh, you form a gas here. Then you've got excess concentrated ammonia, colorless solution contain complex iron G. 
Give the formulas D, E, F. Give an ionic equation to show the formation of E. Give an equation to show the conversion of D into G. Okay? So the cream precipitate for D is going to be AGBR. Okay? So when you add dilute nitric acid, you can form impurities such as uh, silver carbonate or silver oxide. But because it bubbled, you know, it's a silver carbonate formed. So compound, uh, let me just see, compound D is this, compound E is a um, silver carbonate, if I'm not mistaken. Com okay. Formula of F is going to be a CO2 gas, isn't it? Because F is a gas, it's going to be CO2 because when you react acid plus carbonate gives you CO2 gas. Ionic equation to form E, which is this one here. So it's going to be... Um, Ag, hold on, let me just do that here. It's gonna be Ag. It's gonna be Ag plus plus CO three two minus, which is your carbonate. It's going to be Ag um, CO three solid. Okay, so that's going to be your um, um, your equation. But you got to balance those two high silvers there, so you're balanced with that. Equation to show the conversion of D into G. Uh, so colorless solution containing complex iron G. Right, this is a complex iron. So what you have, you have silver bromide. Let's put this here. That is your cream precipitate. Plus you have your ammonia. So it's your excess concentrated ammonia. Then you end up your uh, complex iron that you know, which is Ag with NH3 and there's two lots of them because this makes a um, straight um, linear molecule and is a plus and then you end up with your BR minus coming out and then you've got to balance this equation it gives you two here and I think it should be all balanced by now okay so that's how you answer this question I hope it was helpful